Father, bless, move, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Jesus, save any sinner that watches the broadcast before it's everlasting too late. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost, lay your continued hand of approval on what we're trying to do for the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Hope everyone had a good day today. If you prayed for my knee, it made it through the long trip I had to make today. And um, so it's about it. It was a lot better than it was last night. I was able to uh, to uh, make the trip and get home safe, and hopefully tomorrow will be even better. Uh, so if you pray for me, thanks. All right, make sure you get your prayer requests in every night on my Facebook page. There's a place for you to leave your praise reports and prayer requests. You can also leave them in the comment section of the YouTube channel video, daily video that's put on there every night by my wife. And also right here in the comment section, you can leave your prayer request or praise reports. All right, we begin the prophecies in the Old Testament. We started last night, started talking about how Jesus, he fulfilled every prophecy in the Old Testament concerning the Messiah, the Savior of the world, proving that he is the true and only Savior and Messiah. And so tonight we want to look at the first of many prophecies we'll look to. And boy, the first one is really awesome. Comes from a kind of a strange guy named Balaam. If you know anything about Balaam in the book of Numbers. But uh, he tried to curse God's people and you can't curse what God blesses. You do realize that, right? So uh, that's a side note. Numbers 24, 17 through 19 uh, is one of the prophecies concerning the Savior of the world. And also, it is fulfilled in Matthew 1, 1 through 17. We're just going to look at Numbers 24 uh, for sake of time. Verse 14, And now, behold, I go unto my people, come therefore, and I will advertise you what this people shall do to your people in the latter days, the coming kingdom age there. He took up the, his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said... And the man whose eyes are open has said, he has said, which heard the words of God, knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Verse 17, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> wonder who that star is. That star is Jesus, the bright and morning what? Star. A scepter shall rise out of Israel. There you go. The kingship of the Lord. He's king of kings and lord of lords. He's the bright and morning star. He is the Messiah, the savior of the world, the Lord Jesus Christ, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheph. And Edom shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he who shall have dominion, it's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, and shall destroy him who remains of the city. Now that's talking about the battle of Armageddon that happens at the end of the seven year tribulational period, the reign of the Antichrist upon the earth when the Antichrist and his army shall be destroyed. So what power packed verses for the first uh, scriptures in the Old Testament 
that prophesied about the Lord Jesus Christ. We see him, he's the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of the Jewish nation. He's of the seed of David. He is a king of kings and Lord of lords. He's Jewish. And so we see here, just like David defeated Moab and subdued Edomim, the greater David, the Lord Jesus Christ, the bright morning star, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the sovereign savior of the world, he has defeated hell and the devil and the demons of hell at the cross and by his resurrection, by his death on the cross to pay the sin debt of mankind and by his uh, resurrection from the dead on the third day through the power of the Holy Spirit uh, and, and, and continues to defeat the devil and will always whip the devil wherever Jesus uh, meets him, Jesus always wins. Just like the preacher men have said down through time, we've read the back of the Bible, the last book of the Bible, and God wins. <laughs> Amen. So tonight, not only does Jesus have a heavenly kingdom, but he has also a spiritual kingdom. That's the, the church, the kingdom of Christ, his work on the earth. And he also uh, has a the kingdom of God. And uh, so Jesus uh, not only is ruling right now, he will rule throughout eternity. So what a, what a prophecy <laughs> about the Lord Jesus Christ. Man, that's just power packed. He, you know, Balaam, definitely the Lord showed him all this. And I'm glad the Lord showed him all this and put it in the Word of God and we're able to read it. And if you read Matthew chapter 1, 1 through 17, you'll see that Jesus Christ was of the seed of David and of the seed of Abraham. He is the true Messiah, the only Savior of the world. The Holy Ghost conceived, virgin born, Son of God. Amen. All right, folks. Well, that's uh, it for tonight. Uh, let me see what we got tomorrow night. Brother Mark should be on here. I'll give him the scriptures. Uh, <clears throat> I hope that you will enjoy all of these prophecies we'll look at. And uh, tomorrow night we're going to be looking at uh, Jesus will come, according to the Old Testament, from the tribe of Judah and the family of David. Now, Brother Mark, let's see if Mark's on here. Uh, I don't see him yet. Yeah, he's there. Brother Mark, the scriptures for tomorrow night are Genesis 49.10, Isaiah 11.1, 1, and they were fulfilled by Jesus, Luke 1, 31-33. So I'll read them again for Brother Mark and for anybody else that wants to study these scriptures. Uh, <clears throat> Genesis 49.10, Brother Mark, Isaiah 11.1, 1, and also they were fulfilled by Jesus in Luke 1, 31 through 33. All right, everybody, so until tomorrow night, about this time, we'll be looking at these next prophecies. See if Mark got those scriptures. Mark, did you get them? Isaiah 40, I mean, Genesis 49.10, Isaiah 11.1. 1, and uh, Luke 1, 31 through 33. I'll send them to you in your private message, Brother Mark, if you had to go somewhere. All right, everybody. I hope everyone has a uh, wonderful night. Uh, thanks for viewing in to our short broadcast. Make sure you share the broadcast. As Jason Crabb, I like what he said last night. Love on me a little bit. <laughs> Amen. It makes me happy when people share our broadcast. Amen. Because that gives us the potential to reach more people on Facebook and also YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave comments in the YouTube channel. And uh, yes, that's it, Brother Mark. That's the scriptures. So I got my inner circle prayer warriors on here, some of them. So until tomorrow night, continue to share that, uh, tag people and share that video of the Holy Dove flying through our broadcast. I put it on there. I'll always put that on my Facebook page. So, um, so make sure you share it and let other folks uh, see what God did that night while I was teaching the Bible, the Word of God. So until tomorrow night, God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation of Israel.
and the du Jewish uh, people. I'm looking to see if there's any more comments. There's not. All right, I'm off. See you tomorrow night. God bless. Appreciate my wife also buying a new, uh, I don't know what this is. It's a speaker. It's a speaker. <laughs> so now we can just, I can just hit it. It hooks onto my phone and you're able to hear the music. God bless. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.